Hey Dave with Line Therapy here. I wanted to talk about a research article that came across my email inbox. Uh, it's titled Physiotherapeutic Scoliosis Specific Exercise for the Treatment of Adolescent Idiopathic Scoliosis A Systematic Review and Network Meta-Analysis. So this this came out in May of this year which uh, you know very very recent and it was looking at specifically different physiotherapeutic scoliosis specific exercise techniques that were combined together specifically looking at the C's approach the scientific exercise approach to scoliosis and the Schroth method both of those methods are methods that we use here at Align Therapy and it was interesting to see that a study looked at combining those as well as doing them separately so it's something that I've been been talking about for a while, ever since I got back from a SOSWORK conference where we talked about that. Uh, it, it's been it's been on my mind, so this is a, a great article. So hopefully this article review helps you to understand a little bit more about Schroth and Cies, um, or Cies. A lot of a lot of people call it Cies, and I want to dive into it a little bit and talk about uh, some specifics in in the article that came out. I would recommend looking it up and, and researching if you're looking for, for scoliosis treatment yourself and or, or for someone that you know or care about that you research the different methods of scoliosis treatment and pick the one that's best for you. We, we combine them sometimes. Sometimes we just do straight Schroth exercises. Sometimes we will do uh, the Sia's approach exercises. It depends on the person and we kind of have to tailor it to the person. So one thing, just a little bit of background before this, one thing in the SOSOR conference that we talked about a lot uh, was treatment may be more beneficial basing it on the specifically doing it for the individual and the therapist may be the key ingredient in the treatment, not necessarily how that person was trained or what school of thought that person was trained in. It's an interesting thought that maybe it's not about whether we're doing C's or about Schroth or about uh, any of the other methods. Maybe it's about the therapist that's doing the exercises with you, whether they understand it well or not. Because a lot of these methods of scoliosis treatment have been shown to be effective in some way or another. We can't really say that everyone that practices Schroth gets the same results. And I know Schroth providers, I'll, I'll see patients who come from out of state that say that they've seen a Schroth provider in their state and it just didn't work for them. It didn't seem to fit, it didn't click, and it, it wasn't right for them. That therapist didn't get the results that, that they needed. And then we see them and it, something clicks and, and, and it does well. I, I probably have patients that are the same, that don't quite click with me and maybe not. they don't get what they need from me in treatment. So sometimes it's more about the person doing the method and individualize or specifically doing that towards that, that patient than it is which method we're using. In this research article, they talk about comparing the Schroth method alone and the CS approach alone versus doing them together, which I, which I think is actually a really cool thing. So they had 17 randomized controlled trials, 857 patients were included. And what's cool is it says the meta-analysis showed the PSSE, physiotherapeutic scoliosis specific exercise, the umbrella term for scoliosis, non-operative treatment um, with exercise. Improved Cobb angle showed that therapy improved Cobb's angle than the conventional rehabilitation therapy. So general physical therapy did not show as big of an improvement or any improvement in the Cobb angle. And a network meta-analysis showed that Schroth plus scientific exercise approach to scoliosis or C's was the most effective in improving Cobb angle and ATR. ATR is the rotation, the, the rib hump, the rotation of the spine. While Schroth alone was most effective in, in improving the quality of life. So if we break that down a little bit, the, the SIA's approach combined with Schroth, we see, uh, we see improved body posture, 
we see improved trunk deformity, meaning the ATR, and we see improved cob angles. But in that combined group, the Schroth alone exercise group uh, improved the quality of life more. So if we think about this, com combining different treatment techniques is something that is, I don't know if I'd say controversial, but it's not necessarily done or encouraged in a lot of the scoliosis schools of treatment. But here at Align Therapy, we've been doing C's approach as well as Schroth combined uh, for a while now. I use some, some aspects of that if a patient really understands that better or they need a, a change, then I'll use which, effective, which method is most effective for that person. And I think, I think that's kind of where I'm going with this, that there's no magic method of scoliosis treatment. We do a lot of Schroth exercises. I, I really like the Schroth method because it has good results and people respond well to it and it, uh, it, and it works really well. But for some patients, especially my younger patients, Schroth is too intense and we use the CS approach to, to help them get into some correction until they're old enough so that we can do Schroth. And sometimes with my adult patients, sometimes doing uh, the CS approach is more beneficial for them because they can understand it better or use it during their day. But we also do Schroth with them. So I like the idea of studying PSSE rather than just one technique or another. The problem with that is standardizing general PSSE for a research study if you're just doing a bunch of different techniques would be really hard to do. So from a research aspect, I think it's really hard to combine treatment techniques. But from the clinical aspect, in the office, in, in the clinic, I am a huge fan of that. Do what the patient needs, have enough experience to know how to do that with the patient and what they need and that comes from experience. Here at my clinic, we've, I've been open almost 10 years now and we've seen, I should probably count how many scoliosis patients we've seen to this point. And we can tailor the exercise specific to the person because we've seen it a lot. We see scoliosis and kyphosis every day and it's not something new, it's not something that we're guessing how to treat. We have specific protocols for those for those patients and we get good results with those. So if you're looking for treatment for your scoliosis or kyphosis and you're looking at a specific method of treatment for scoliosis like Schroth or like C's, uh, I, I would make sure you do your research. Make sure specifically that who you're going to is specialized in what you're going to them for and that they have a specific method that they're treating you with that it's not just core strengthening. It's not just something that they thought up that, oh, maybe we should stretch the concave side and you'll, you'll be all better. It takes more than that. So hopefully this was helpful. I, I think it's a good article and I think in the future we'll see more articles being done with, with combinations of exercises rather than just one or the other. Um, it does make it hard to study, but I'm a fan of doing what's best for the individual patient. So thanks for watching. If you haven't subscribed to the channel, I'd love to have you subscribe so that you can follow what we're doing. And we'll do some other research article reviews so that you can stay up to date on what's, what's out there and what's being supported. Remember, if you're getting treatment for scoliosis, make sure who's treating you can back what they do with research. So thanks for watching. We'll see you next time.